Hello everyone, it's Catherine from Bluebell Wood here. Just wanted to say hello and tell you how much you're all missed. Hopefully we'll get to see you soon. But in the meantime, I thought we could perhaps have a little bit of fun and do some sensory painting. Uh, I've got some everyday foil here which you'll all recognise because I use this a lot. Can you hear the noise? And I thought we could use this so that we could share with mums and dads and carers how to do painting without getting too messy because obviously we don't want paint up the furniture. So there's your foil, here's the paints and I've chosen some nice bright colours and I want you to listen to see if you can hear the paint. Are you ready? Did you hear that? You can use as much or as little as you want, any colour you want. So here's the green one, my favourite. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit runny. Oh, that sounds like when I used to go to the caravan when I was a little girl. And it's raining on the roof. Let's have some white. And because we're at Bluebell Wood, let's have a bit of purple as well. Of you might like to use brushes or rollers or sticks and you can make little patterns if you want to but what I thought was we'd go for the simple way today so once you've got all your paint on in as much as you want to then if you fold it into the middle like this You go and then you can use your hands or your feet or you can sit on it if you want to and just move the paint around inside the foil sometimes when we do this at bluebell wood we might put different things in with the paint such as lemon juice or cinnamon or other different smells but obviously being filmed today you wouldn't be able to smell those when you feel that you've finished with your picture Open it up very carefully and see what a difference you've made. That side looks like a face, I think. And this side, wow. Then if you choose which colour you want, I think I might go for the orange one today. And I'm going to put it on my picture and press it down very carefully and then let's see what happens wow can you see the finished picture we'll leave that one to dry and then we can just scrunch this up and throw it in the bin no paint on our hands, but this is the one where we're going to get a little bit messier. So, more foil. Spread it out, and this is the best thing ever. Shaving foam. It's good for shaving foam fights, but it's very good for painting as well. Oh, can you hear that? I think I'm running out. Right, I'm going to use my hands now. I'm going to fit. Oh, it's quite cold, quite sticky. Just going to spread it around like that. And then again, I'm going to add some paints. Uh, well, I'll add a bit of white this time, I think, because we've not used that one. I know it's white foam, but with the other colours, it should mix quite nicely. I'm not doing as well because I'm using my left hand and this nice blue. I'm going to have to get the bottles messy now. Here we go. I think I'll have a lot of that. I've missed doing this with you guys. 
Perhaps I might not be known as a messy lady when you all come back. Some more purple. You hear that foil again? Oh, lovely. And a little bit of pink and then I think we're ready to go. And again, I'm going to fold it into the middle. And I'm going to use my hands, but again, you can use your feet and sit on it. You can use brushes, whatever you want to do. Give it a good press down and all the paints will start to run into each other. Open it up. Wow, that is beautiful. And I'm going to use this one. Are you ready? Press it down. Oh, I really like that one. I'm going to put that one to dry. So remember, you can have fun with things that you've got at home. Keep yourselves busy. And we hope to see you soon. And perhaps, if some of you would like to, when you've done some pictures, maybe you could send them in to us at Bluebell Wood. Because we'd like to do a really nice display of your artwork that you've created while we've not been around. So take care, missing you lots, hope to see you soon.